Now we're going to look at what does it take to um, update metadata if you already have some metadata and all you want to do is change a couple fields. So if I look at the sample metadata, you're going to see here that we have, uh, this is again um, ISO 19115 data, and we've got things like National Mapping Agency, phone number, and you can see here under individual name for the responsible party is my good friend uh, Johan von Plasmoden. Now uh, he is no longer uh, with the Mapping Agency. I believe he is uh, now retired somewhere on the Black Sea. So uh, we need to update that. So what we'll do is simply, I'll open up uh, what pre-made workspace that shows how this is done. And we're going to update this field with Joe Malone instead of Johan van Plasmoiden. And uh, you can see we use a creator just to create a record to drive the process. Uh, and the text line reader reads in the original record. And, and we it's important to, to set this to read the whole file at once. So it doesn't read it uh, one record per line, but the whole file becomes one big record. So that becomes the document for this XML updater. Now the XML updater is the transformer that we use to do XML updates. The key difference here from uh, the way you might have seen if you view the XML uh, or the metadata reading demo is that we don't uh, try to flatten the structure. We leave the XML structure as is and we, all we want to do is update one, a couple of fields. In this case, uh, we're going to update um, timestamp. We're also going to update the, the contact name. So we have the contact information, then we have the update date, and that all gets fed into the updater. And here you can see there's here, here are the operations of what we're actually changing. So there's a bunch of different updates that we could do. We could replace, we can insert, uh, we can rename, we can delete. In this case we're going to replace the just the contents of the individual uh, we're also going to uh, update the abstract and the date uh, stamp. And we'll see that after we run it, that in fact that's been updated. And we do a bit of formatting just to make sure it's all pretty, pretty printed before we output it. So that's basically all there's to it. I'm going to hit run. And so it's, it's reading the original document and merging in the update. Uh, it says it's successful, so we'll just look at the output, open that up in our text editor. You can see now that Joe Malone is now the responsible party, now that, now that Johan is no longer with us. And if we uh, scroll down here, there's somewhere we have an update date. Um, Yeah, here it is. Uh, the date stamp, metadata update date. So that's uh, showing today's date that we've updated the data. So that's how we use FME to do our metadata updates. And of course, this could be automated to run across hundreds or thousands of data sets or tables in a database. Uh, and as long as you had a source that was keyed to each table and what modification needed to be made, uh, then we could use FME to automate our updates. Okay, thank you.